Hey guys, how's it going? Kaprain here. Today I want to bring you guys a sponsored Battle Right video. Battle Right is an amazing PvP game where you control your character and you do your best to maximize timing, positioning, and teamwork with your 2v2 or 3v3 teams in some pretty epic gameplay. I've played Battle Right about 10 hours so far and I've learned that the skill ceiling of this game is really very high. The main the main reason why Battle Right is promoting a lot of stuff right now, including through me, is because the game has just gone free to play. It is a game on Steam and you can get it absolutely for free. Better than that, if you use my referral link, you can get an extra champion for free. You can get the uh, Ashka Champion. It's a ranged fire nuker. It is actually among the most popular champions out there. And uh, the way you do this is you use my code, you're prompted to this page here, and uh, it's gonna give you your own unique code. You put in that code as an activated product on Steam, and even if you have Battle Right already, you can do this and add the champion to your account. The really cool thing that I found exceptional about Battle Right is the balance. Uh, I have been reading through the Battle Right Reddit. I included a link to it for you guys below if you guys wanna check that out. It's a pretty positive and informative community and one of the things that I've learned is just how well the champions are balanced in this game all of the champions have play at the very top all of them you know yes you know some might seem stronger than others some might be a lot easier to learn than others that's absolutely true but in terms of the peak performance of each champion it is remarkably balanced so with that in mind um, you can just pick whatever champion you want and get to work practicing and learning to the best of your ability. So um, yes, the game is free and you get a number of champions as you start an extra one if you use my referral link. So really you can just get into it on an even playing field. The way that Battle Right makes money is people that love the game, they can choose to support it. You can get, uh, you can speed up the acquisition of champions by paying money you can get some mounts you can get some skins for the different weapons and avatars and stuff if you choose to go that route or you can just play a hundred percent free to play and be on an absolute level playing field so that's pretty sweet I am not particularly good at these type of games these type of games follow similarly to most MOBA games in terms of playstyle and strategy and I don't have very many hours in that style of game so for me I struggled a bit to show the uh, results uh, that you might expect me to put up in a game like this but nonetheless I had a lot of fun and I want to give you guys some of my highlights and some of my um, thoughts about the game and its champions so these are the champions right now. They're constantly adding champions to the game. They recently added Thorn, I think a few days ago recently. So there's always something new to try, something new to check out. He's got a red hand there because um, I have the, uh, the corruption. So that's his original look, I believe. And I got a different skin for his default weapon. You can get some really crazy stuff. Um, you can get uh, different outfits, you can change the look completely. I don't have them, but you can buy them with the tokens, and the tokens are acquired fairly quickly as you play and complete different achievements and stuff. Regardless, so each hero has a set number of abilities. Uh, you have the left mouse button ability, right mouse button ability, the space ability, uh, QERF, R and F use energy that you build up by attacking and completing the uh, orb acquisitions. Uh, and you have modifying abilities, so you can use energy to cast a more powerful version of two abilities. And the two abilities vary from character to character. You can change how your skills interact. So this is the loadout that I used for my thorn. Um, uh, mostly uh, changing the E abilities and the space abilities. Um, so just so you can see the different things that you can choose to modify your abilities. This is kind of like your skill set as you start the game. Um, 
there are two to three modifiers for each ability, but I believe you can only have two modifiers for any one ability. You see your space ability, the root, it has at least, yeah, it has four in this case. I believe you can only choose two. So there's a little bit of uh, skill when it comes to that because you can't just stack one ability extremely. You can stack an ability you know, a little bit, and uh, you know, if, if you wanna go that route. But there's a lot of flexibility in this. Uh, I saw a few builds online, and I saw a lot of suggestions that people gave to me when I was playing different champions, and um, there was there was a bit of argument. You know, it's not it's not straightforward. It, you have to just match these to your play style, and you know, if you're really close, maybe look some of these up, but I do recommend just going into it. The abilities that you like, try to modify those in ways that you see fit. Uh, after I played Thorn, I found Thorn fairly difficult. He was, uh, he's a melee with some ranged capabilities, with a lot of healing, with a lot of control, but I think it's a character that you really have to focus teamwork on, and that was kind of above my skill level. If you do want to uh, play the uh, recommended champions, the ones that have a thumb up, these are the champions that are uh, considered easier to learn. You know, the skill cap is pretty high with all of them, but uh, if you get right into it, I do recommend one that has a thumb up by its name. Um, after playing Thorn, I went to play Jade. Jade is the character that you start the tutorial through, so going into the game, you're going to have some experience with Jade over all the other characters, and that might lead you to play it. Jade is a good character to le learn the game from. Jade um, has the ability to uh, stealth, which is really interesting. Her stealth does not break on damage, but good players will find out where you are based on the sound and projectiles flying through from your vanished state on the screen. You have uh, snipe abilities, which can stun, do considerable damage, and fairly quick attacks. Jade is a very versatile, active character. If you always want to be in the fight, Jade is a great choice for you. After playing a bit of Jade and having uh, some pretty decent results, I thought I would try the third type of character, the support character. You know, I played kind of like a tank. I played a ranged DPS, so let's play a support. And Sirius is a support that is fairly popular, and also it is one that's thumbs up. So easy to learn, and that's exactly what I needed. Um, I had by far the best uh, success playing Sirius. Uh, I won actually the majority of my games playing him, so um, he's a very active support. Um, his ability, Crescent Strike, has the ability to be empowered, so instead of dealing 8, it does 22, and for a you know left mouse button, just, just one swing, that is a hell of a lot of damage, especially for a support character. So he is a character that has a lot of heals, a lot of supports, a decent amount of escapes, uh, a very cool ultimate ability, you know, 100 damage is absolutely insane, 100 healing is absolutely insane, and you get the self-healing on top of that. This ability is, uh, you know, one of the most powerful abilities in the game, but, you know, it is a channeled one, so decent opponents will know to interrupt you. So again, uh, a lot of skill there, as you can cancel abilities and fake them out and all that kind of shenanigans. So he's an amazing character, as he, uh, he has all the potential to be every role in the game, and it's all about finding which role you need to transform your playstyle into at any given time in the battle. You're really master of flexibility. And, you know, while I primarily played these three champions, I played against, I think, all of them. I played with all of them. Uh, I played a little bit of Jumong. Jumong is kind of like the archer. He's similar to Jade, but he doesn't have as many escapes, so you have to be a lot better with planning, and there's a reason why he doesn't have the green thumbs up. So, um, all these characters are very different. All of them um, highlight different skill sets. Um, but again, the ones with the green thumbs up, I think you will learn fairly quickly. So if you're struggling, just play one of the green thumbs up characters and just keep playing. Uh, every one of these characters can be absolutely top tier. So with that, 
I want to give you guys some of the clips that I shared, and I hope you guys do check out Battle Right as it's quite popular. I think right now it is the ninth most played game on Steam, and that is no easy task to get there. So the hype is real. Get on the hype train. Check out Battle Right. Use my link for the extra champion, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Game. We wreck him. We wrecked him. Now his ult was really easy to predict. The audio cue really helped me out. But like, watch out, I'm gonna hit you real hard. And I'm like, oh, where's my R? There it is. Got him. Another prize to collect. 750. That's the most score I've had. I'm going to try playing uh, an easier to play hero uh, later today, though. Oh, I missed that. Got him. Got that guy too. Your team claimed the okay, that was that was a good place, good place. And I got that guy. Oh man. Oh, I'm wrecking it. Can't one be one us if we played defensively. Time's up. Your team 
claimed the orb. Stun again. Okay. I should be MVP on that. Pulled some sick plays. Yeah, see? Warm up round. We just needed that. MVP plays. Easy. Yeah, I don't know if I could do this. Enemy team won the orb. Death vortex incoming. No flawless for you guys. Oh, that's bad. No! Oh! 